if you think that I'm kind of proud of this little engine here, I, I am. Uh, this is, uh, I've had to make a couple of decisions on the parts to use on this engine. I, I think I chose wisely. We, we have all the correct parts. If you remember, we put those aluminum washers. It just, uh, it's to the point that we are at now. All of this is bolted together, well oiled. Uh, it's the 1937 Maytag multimotor. Hey, good morning out there in Radio Land. Good morning to one and all. I, I'm going to start off answering some comment questions. And one of them is to what kind of tools, special tools, or anything that I have accumulated. And really, on these Maytags, you don't need any special tools per se. I mean, you can get it done there with what you got. But two tools that I've been questioned about. This right here happens to be a, uh, it's a KD brand. They make them in all, you can get a China brand. But it's a... Um, you can use a hammer on it or a uh, pull handle, a uh, uh, ratchet, whatever it needs to be. But this was a small size. Uh, I needed it to be, evidently, these are one and a half inch bolts. But they are left as cast, and they'll be different on all of the engines. I just got a couple examples here to show you. And I cut this out with a torch because they're really hard and it's rough around here so there was no need to mill that out so i just give it got the torch out there cut out and it, it fits really good this one being cut like it is it pretty much fits all of them one and a half but a one and a half is just too tight this one right here is it's it's really tight it's square edges this was a smaller one that i worked out with a grinder but you can see in some places it's so tight at one and a half inches it won't fit but you can move it around a couple of facets and it fits perfectly so they're just a couple of homemade tools out of a couple of old tools i bought at a yard sale somewhere or another for maybe 50 cents and they do work good you you will need some kind of tool like this another tool that i use is on this little carburetor that bentier in there that's a number 72 drill bit size a number 72 drill bit is only 25 thousandths and that's a real that's a tight fit in yonder you do not want that hole in that part right there any bigger than what it is if you ream that out even to the point to using a torch tip cleaner in there the reamer out do not use one of those in these orifices that needs to be a good nice round hole if you have one that somebody has drilled out larger you can swage that back together and re-drill it and save it for use this uh, a regular set of number drill bits only goes down to number 60 so you have to uh, you just get this at your local welding store it's got several little drill bits in there it's you just need one of these in, in your toolbox anyways that's for that now the little drain back for the crankcase is that little that little gap right there in the side of that thing if that is, and a lot of times, you will find that somebody put the set screw right there, and it can't drain back. So, and if you clean that up with a regular hacksaw blade, it's too wide. That's That needs to be the size it is. Somewhere around, I think, 20, 25 thousandths, I believe is what that is. But this is just a little jeweler saw with a really thin blade and it just goes in there and you just want to clean that up don't make it any deeper or any wider it's just a common tool that you would be using another thing you need uh, on this on repairing a maytag is your micrometer to measure pistons and uh, different measurements on it you do need a bore gauge a hole gauge to go in there you do need a regular mic 
uh, just uh, some simple tools like that. That's just about all you need. Uh, by all means, a filler gauge for the spark plugs at the points. You do not want to adjust them uh, by eyesight. You need to know what you got. So uh, that's just up to now. Uh, one of the other things that I have done off camera is, uh, and we're we're putting this engine back together. We're on the other side of the hump. We're putting her back together. And what I did is I sprayed the green paint. If it had been black, I would have painted that black. But I did go ahead and spray that part in there. So in the bottom of the manifold, so that when I put them on there and and put the gas tank, and I will paint on the gas tank the bottom of this. On the gas tank top, I will paint this part right here before I assemble it. Because when you're spraying that, if you do not do that, there'll be some parts in there that is not painted. Now, Maytag didn't use a primer, so this is this is definitely a hot rod paint job. It's nowhere near a restoration paint job. When you are assembling these engines in this part right here up to this point you can get this manifold on either way. It will. You can bolt it this way it clears everything and you bolt it this way and it clears everything. Check beforehand because it will only go one way to clear the gas tank. The gas tank would go like this right here. So it's correct now because it's it's the indent in here. If you had it bolted all down like this, panties you're in and get ready to put it together, then it won't fit. So keep that in mind. You only make that mistake once. 